Hello students, relax, sit back and listen to our math class. In today's class, we are going to learn the method of prime factorization. Okay. So, before learning this concept, first of all, we should have an idea of what is meant by a prime number and what is meant by a composite number. Right. So, in general, a prime number has only two factors. Okay. One and the number itself. Whereas a composite number has more than two factors. That means three factors, three factors or more than that. Or more than that. Okay. So a prime number has one, uh, if factors of prime numbers are one and the number itself. For example, take two. What are all two factors of two? One and two. Am I right? For 3, 1 comma 3. For 17, 1 comma 17. So, these numbers are known as prime numbers. So, the factors of prime numbers are 1 and that the number itself. Whereas, factors of composite number will be more than uh, 2 factors. Okay, for example, 6. What are all factors of 6? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, 1 cup and then 6. So, it has 4 factors. So, 6 is a composite number. Consider another example. For example, 9. So, 1, 3, 9. So, this 9 has 3 factors. So, this 9 is a composite number. Okay. This is what prime number and composite number. Prime number means it has only two factors, one and that number itself, whereas composite number has three or more than three factors. Okay. Now, prime factorization. Prime factorization is the process of ex expressing a composite number as a product of its prime factors. So, in prime factorization, we will express a composite number, a composite number as a product of its prime factors. Okay. So, prime factorization is the process of expressing a composite number in terms of prime factors. Okay. Now, we can see some examples and methods involving, involving prime factorization. Now, these are the methods involving in uh, prime factorization. Okay. Prime factorization can be done in two methods. Division method and factor tree method. Okay. So, let us consider an example. For example, 50. We have to do prime factorization. 50 is a composite number and we are writing this composite number as a product of its prime factors. So, how to do in division method? So, first you should write like this. Write 50. Okay. Here you should write a number and that number should be uh, divisible, should be a factor, should be a factor of this 50 and that number should be a prime number. So whatever number here you are writing, that number should be a prime number. Rule number 1, it should be a prime number and it should be a factor of that number. It should be a factor of 50. So what number you will choose? You can choose 2. Because 2 is a prime number and 2 will, two, 2 divides this 50 exactly. That means 2 is a factor of 50. Am I right? So, or otherwise, what are the other numbers you can choose? Other possibilities, you can choose 5 because 5 is a prime number and it is a factor of 50. So, now I am taking 5. It's your wish but this number, whatever you are writing here, that number should satisfy these two conditions. That number should be a prime number and it should be a factor of the given number. Okay. So, here I am choosing 5. 5 means in 5, how many times it will be in 50? 5 means 5 here, 1, 0. So, 5 into 10, 50. Okay. So, Next, what should you what you should do means 10. You should choose a prime number and it should be 
factor of this 10. So what number you can choose? You can choose 2. Because in 2 table, this 10 will come 5 times. Okay. Okay. At last, this is a prime number. Okay. So you can stop here itself. And you should write it as 50 equal to. What are all numbers are here? 5 into 2 into 5. So, 5 2 times. 5 square into 2. This is what your final answer. 5 square into 2 means 5 into 5, 25. 25 into 2, 50. You got this answer. Am I right? So, finally we have written this 50. The composite numbers in terms of its prime factors. So, the concept, the concept here is, first you should write the given number and that number should satisfy, you should take a number and that number should satisfy these two conditions. It should be a prime number. First condition, it should be a prime number. Second, this number, whatever number you are writing here, it should, it should be a factor of the given number. Okay, so 5, 5 is a factor of this 50. So, in 5 table, 5 into 10, 50 you will get. So, here I put 10. Next. For this 10, I should choose a number here. That number should be a prime number and factor of this number. Factor of this 10. So, in um, 2 table, 10 will come 5 times. Okay. At last, this, is, this number itself is a prime number. So, I can leave here itself. Okay. At last, I should write this 50 in terms of I should write this 50 composite number in terms of its product of prime, in terms of product of prime factors. So 50 equal to 5 into 2 into 5. Okay. Next by factor tree method. By factor tree method, you should write, write this 50 like this. Next, you should write in which multiplication table this 50 will come. 5 into 10. Am I right? So, I should write 5 into 10. Next, this 5 is a prime number. So, you leave it here. Next, 10. 10 means 2 into 5. Am I right? This 2 and 5 are prime numbers. So, leave it here. So, finally, 50 equal to 5 into 2 into 5. This is what your final answer. Either of these methods you can use, but this method is comparatively easy than this division method is comparatively easy than easy than factor tree method because while you are dealing with the two digits, three digits, four digits problem, this division method will help you a lot. Now we are going to solve this problem 210. We have we are going to factorize. We are going to write this composite number in terms of its prime factors. Okay, so. By division method 210. Okay. According to divisibility criteria, it will uh, this 210 will come in 5 table, 2 table, am I right? 3 table and 7 table. So now I'm going to choose this 2. Okay. So here 2. In 2 table, how many times this 2 will be one time? 2 table 1 won't come. So write 0. 2 table 10 how many times? 5 times. Okay. Next 105. So here I should choose a number. That number should be a prime number and factor of the given number. So 105. According to our divisibility criteria, this number ends in 5. So for sure this number will be a multiple, multiple of 5. So, here I can write 5. 5 table, 1 won't come. 5 table, 10, how many times? 2 times. 5 table, this 5 is 1 time. So, 21. Next, here I have to choose a number. That, should, that number should be a prime number and factor of given number. This number for sure will come in 3 table. So, in 3 table, 21 is 7 times. Okay. Here we can stop this process because this 7 is a prime number. So now 210 equal to 2 into 
5 into 3 into 7. If you are multiplying this value means, for example, 2 into 5, 10. 10 into 3, 30. 30 into 7, 210. You will get this answer. Okay. Now, we have written this composite number in terms of its prime factors. Okay. This is what the prime factorization. So, prime factorization is the process of writing the composite number in terms of its prime factors. Okay. And this prime factorization can be done by two methods. One is division and another one is factory method. In this video, we have learned the concept of prime numbers, composite numbers and prime factorization and methods of doing prime factorization. Thank you for watching. For more videos related to both school and college max, kindly subscribe to our channel, Curious Max. Thank you.